Our next caller is Will from Texas. Hey, Will, how can we help you? What's your question? First, Will, tell us why Sal annoys you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I know you what expressed that. that. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Now, go ahead Go ahead and ask your question. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, my wife is pregnant, and I would like to know how I should be structuring my workout pre-baby, and more importantly, during the sleepless nights of the first couple months when he is born. Uh, uh, I'd like to continue my strength goals. Hey, congratulations. First, yeah, first, yeah. second, you third. You did it. Which, you. which baby is this? Yes. Uh, first. Very oh, first. yeah. You are in for it, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> so, don't, don't listen to him. Yeah, it's hella easy. It, don't listen to him. It's hella easy, yeah. man. So, okay, so so there's a couple uh, there's a couple strategies that you could take. Um, so I'll, I'll give you my favorite strategy. I've worked with a lot of uh, you know mothers that were pregnant and their husbands mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. during that period of time. And so... I like to tell people um, to le- go into the the birth at a, in a, at a good fitness level. Okay, and the reason why uh, I, I, I recommend this is because you're you're going to miss workouts. You're not going to be as rested after the baby's born for at least a couple months, if not more. And so you want to give yourself uh, a bigger buffer. Okay, so go into it uh, doing pretty well. So right now you have the time. Um, you know, do some good workouts, have good nutrition. That way, if you fall off, you don't fall off uh, too far. Now, when the baby's born and you're losing sleep, sleep is a priority. Do not make the mistake of pushing through it with the lack of sleep. You will okay. just, you will hammer not just your testosterone levels but your immune system if you do that. So a good workout, uh, general workout when you're limited on you know time and availability or whatever is you know like a two or three day a week full body workout where you're just focusing on uh the main lifts you're just doing the big compound lifts what do your workouts look like right now will so right now i'm in phase about halfway through phase two of maps power lift excellent all right excellent how's it going for you by the way Uh, i'm 30 or i'm about to be 30 in april no no how's it going for you with the workouts how's your oh sorry um it's going good um so far, so good. I'm actually transitioning to building a home gym because of how crazy the gyms are going to be now. But um, it's going good. Strength is progressing pretty nicely, I think. So the advice that Sal gave, gave is exactly how I did it. Like I really, uh, I knew that I was going to have to sacrifice some days in the gym. I knew that I'd sacrifice some sleep, and so I, I had some pretty good momentum going into uh, her pregnancy. So I just kind of, I tried to push the volume, try to keep, be as consistent as I possibly could, and as disciplined, knowing that the inevitable is going to happen that I'm going to have these. And I actually, the first couple weeks, because he's, he's so attached to her and I, you can't really, as a father, you, there's not a lot you can do for the first couple weeks. Um, mm-hmm. I still had really good momentum for those first couple weeks. It wasn't until I'd say probably weeks three and four, did it get really challenging for like, uh, me getting to the gym and fight and her being able to get to the gym. Uh, right. And and so, you know, then then my workouts started to look kind of like uh, MAPS anabolic phase one. And then eventually it even got as bad as probably like pre phase. And okay. no doubt, like I lost some strength. I didn't I don't look as good as I did right before I came into pregnancy. But he, I mean, it's uh, we're back in the swing of things. I think I've already surpassed where I was. Uh, before that, and it only took about a month to rebound and get back because I still maintained some training, uh, but my priority became my my wife and child, yeah. you know, and that's really where it should be right. for you too. It's like if you can get in there as a as a new dad and still get you know one or two full body workouts in while you're you know going through all this at the very beginning, I think you're yeah. I think you're killing it. Everything you're doing right now is what you're going to kind of carry going forward, and I think like you know what what you're trying to do in terms of like building your your base of strength and and you know having your intensity mm-hmm. up right now is 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 a good way to go and then you know really just shifting your mindset once you're in the thick of it because it is going to change everything yeah. so you just got to adjust one one more option too right. will is if, especially if you have a home gym is to do mini workouts mm-hmm. uh so yeah, great great advice. you know like 15 20 minute workouts here and there yeah, i did a lot of that yeah two a day or three a day sometimes or one a day sometimes basically going out to your your home gym 
when you have, you know, a little bit of time in doing a few sets of an exercise. And believe it or not, the bo- especially when it's new, the body responds really, no, really I, well I, to that. Sal, I love that advice. And I don't have the luxury of having the gym in my actual house, but the studio is not far from my house, and I would do this a lot. And because, mm-hmm. you know, he's the, the baby's feeding every two hours and napping afterwards, and so those little... 30 minute hour naps were perfect times for me to get some, get a couple exercises in. And that's how I look at it is if you, if you can do that and you have an at home gym where maybe you can stick to the routine that you're already on, but you just break it up in two or three mini workouts throughout the day, there's a lot of value to that. So I think that's a great strategy also. Totally. Congratulations again. And and thanks for the question. Will. thank you. Thank you. Yep. You know that's such a that's a hard one, right? Because totally. it really depends on. I mean, I'm I'm lucky, right? Yeah. Like Katrina really handles a lot of the nights and takes the responsibility. We have support, and so I know that I have a lot more flexibility. Some dads have to be doing all that stuff, yeah, and very so hands on. Yeah, so asking him to get up in the middle of the night and and be doing a lot of feedings with with her, and then in addition to that also be trying to progress mm-hmm. your workouts. It's a lot to ask somebody. It is. It's a tough uh, situation. That's why I like to say go into it, you know, really fit because you're going to lose <laughs> some exactly. of it, yeah. and it's better to have that buffer.